you are welcome to our YouTube channel. On this video, we are going to be showing you how to use your tape room and how to understand your tape room. From our previous video, we taught you how to know your tape room. Just eat through. But right now, we are going straight to the point by showing you the tips on how to know your tape room, how to understand your tape room, and how to know it better. Right now, we are going straight to the lesson of today or how to know our tape rule. Our tape rule starts from, uh, if you look at uh, my old tape rule here, I remove the metal head because we discover in some tape, we have metal head with some other itches. Now when you put it on your material, it will give you a different itch instead of an inch. So because of that, we remove our metal head to get the actual itches we want. So if you go straight to this tape rule right now, this is one inch. This one inch we have is divided into eight. This is how we come about all this little line you see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that the end of that long one, which is the one inch, is the eighth one. So if you are, if you are reading your tape room, start from this small line, this little line you are seeing here. Then this other one that is a bit longer than that one. Then this one too. So by the time you read it from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, it gives you 8 because it, 1 inch is divided into 8. So we are going to be doing it because our tape rule don't understand a decimal point. But we are going to convert this 1 inch into decimal point. So we have 1 8. This one is 1 8. If you come here, you write 1 8. 1 over 8. It's just a simple mathematics. The second one is to 8. You write 2 over 8. The third one is 3 8. 3 over 8. You go to the fourth one. 4 8. The fifth one. 5 8. The sixth one. 6 8. The seventh one, level eight. One, the last one, which is the one inch, is eight eight. One eight, two eight, three eight, four eight, five eight, six eight, seven eight, eight eight. So when you convert this one eight into eight, all you need to do here is one divided by eight equals to zero. 0.125 equals to 0 0.125. Then 2.8. 2, 8. 2, 8, 2 divided by 8 equals to 0 0.25. 0 0.25. Then 3. 3 divided by 8, it gives us 0 0.375. 8 divided by 8 is equal to 1. So this is one inch. Carry your tape room or your own. Sit down. Divide this one eight and get your 0 0.125. That is where you are measuring a material where your tape fell in between all these small, small lines. You will know the figure where your line fell into. This figure is one eight. The second, which is quarter that people drop into conclusion, is what gives us 0 0.25. The three eight is three, 0 0.375. Then the fourth one, which is for eight, by the time you divide it by eight, it gives you 0 0.5. That is what we refer as half, half an inch. Then after, after, after half an inch, we have five eighths. 
this is 5 8 here divided by 8 gives us 0 0.625 then 6 8 7 8 and 8 8 this is all we have for this video for you to understand how to make use of your tape rule for example you are taking a measurement of 40 or hip 40 point five it is called 40 for eight that 40 for eight is giving you 0 0.5 so when you are doing your calculation especially when you are working with pattern we deal with pattern we do bodies if you are doing with bodies you are taking patterns you need to know this tape very well even in your freehand sewing you use them and you get your accurate measurement and you can make clothes that fit perfectly well so we are taking example one from this our measurements take for example we are using for eight our measurements your tape rule fell in between here which people normally call half inch this half inch is for eight when you are doing your measurements taking your measurements or cutting your clues all you need to do is 40 point 0 0.5 40 point 0.5 divided by 4 because our bodies is always divided into four when you are cutting close bodies are divided into four parts so if you divide 40 point 0.5 divided by 4 it will give us 10.125 close to 10.125 10 10.125 10 on our T pro is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is 10. That's that point 0.125 is 10 or 8. So this is where your tape rule will be. Not dropping into conclusion. You don't approximate where you are cutting or where you are measuring. Don't approximate. Take accurate measurements. By the time you are using all these points to calculate and you use that to do your calculation, if you cut, you are going to cut accurately. Because when we divide our 40 points for 8, and our 4 8 is 0 0.5. So all you need to do is 40.5 divided by 4. It gives us 10 1 8. And 10 1 8 on our measurement is 0 0.125, which exactly this 14.5 gave us. It gave us 10.125. It means we are going to. Your tape will be here or your material. 10 or 8. Because if you follow your tape, like I've told you, this is 1 8, this is 2 8, this is 3 8, 4 8, 5 8, 6 8, 7 8, 8 8 gives us 1 inch. We have taught you how to make use of your tape, how to know your tape very well, how to convert your tape rule to decimal points and make use of them and we equally give example that number one example or how to divide it how to make use of all these points in whatever measurement wherever the line your tape rule fell into where you are taking your measurements so more videos are coming more tutorial videos are coming on how to make various ways from your skirts to your party wear, dinner wear, evening wears, we have a lot to offer on this channel. Remember to subscribe to our channel, like our videos, remember to turn on your notification bell so that whenever we upload new video, you will be the first to watch our video. Thank you very much. God bless you.